Guys, today we're talking about a player who, based on the early returns, may be general manager Brett Veach's best move so far. We are talking about this guy right here, came over to trade in the preseason. That is Reggie Raglan, inside linebacker. Made a lot of plays. Danny, what stands out to you about Raglan's 2017 season? Well, I know we're gonna discuss a couple different things, but first of all, what sticks out is his first start. His start against the Redskins. We don't really know what to expect of him. This is his first real action, but he really displayed a lot of the gifts that we thought he would have coming out of Alabama. He's a hard hitter, he's really gap sound, and he's very intelligent on that defense. He learns quickly. So I think that that first game, his first start, really showed us a lot of promise. A week later, of course, though, he goes out there against the Texans. I remember one hit in particular on Deshaun Watson where you, you can see a player that he had all his potential, everyone's talking about how good he can be, and you're seeing it before your eyes. Points, I'm gonna remember, easy one, was his return against the Buffalo Bills. Now the yeah. game was at Arrowhead Stadium, and I talked to him during the week, and he said that it was just another game. He didn't wanna buy into it too much, but the way he played and the <laughs> plays that he made. And coming through like a bullet, the former Bill! He seemed like a guy that was on a mission to show them, you guys made a mistake by letting me go. Another thing that stuck out to me was his game against the Giants, and I know that a lot of people don't wanna talk about that losing streak and that losing mm -hmm. skid, but I feel like that's really where he emerged as a really dominant linebacker, and we saw him come to fruition as everything that we had expected him to be. Well, as strong as he was on the field, I, you and I saw it, and yeah. we all did. Uh, him in the community, doing stuff just because he wanted to, that was pretty cool. I mean, you get a guy that has no yeah. ties to Kansas City at all, and he comes here on a whim, right before the season starts, and he goes out and he wants to do things to help people. A lot of fun to watch him. It's gonna be fun to cover him over the next few years. So that is all we got for this edition of Triple Coverage. Make sure to stick to all of the Chiefs social media channels and Chiefs.com because we've got plenty more content coming up for you.